Hello and welcome to the USF 2000 at Lanier. This ought to be a very interesting combo. It is the first race of the week here on Monday. I'm actually off work on a Monday for once, which is amazing because I get to experience the new week as it comes out. So that's a lot of fun. It's like the first Monday I've been off work in months, I think. Not a day I usually get off, so. Um, this is the first one I'm going to be doing tonight, and hopefully going to be doing the Arca race at uh, Twin Ring Motegi Oval um, for too long as well. Looking forward to that. Uh, for now, we've got a 1.9 strength of field USF 2000. Serious, dude, dude. we got people crashing under <laughs> the warm-up, apparently. Oh my gosh, half the field has incidents. Yikes. Um, <laughs> Uh, this should be pretty fun, though, I think. Uh, I've never done a race in this car. It's such a short oval. And I'm hoping it'll be a fun race. It's pretty fun to drive. Looks like you just kind of run around Looks in like third gear. And, uh, kind of just like a lift off of the green, green, green. Okay. Here gas. Got to be patient on throttle so as not to overdrive. One more lap. You're in pole. That was a 12.8. Overdrove that a little bit, unfortunately. Um, it'll be interesting to see if tire saving is going to be much of a thing. Um, second lap is worse there. 12.8 is not bad, though. That's right around my best. We are third for now. Uh, I don't know if tire saving is going to be a thing. I don't think anybody knows. It's first race of the week for everybody. So I might uh, go a little bit softer and just make sure I'm hitting my line here. I could definitely see serious dive bombs being a thing. Uh, one, because this is a very easy trek to dive bomb at. You got, you know, people trying to enter up high to get the best angle in the corner. But then you also have guys that are like... I'm close enough to his inside, right? Yoink! <laughs> and then you've got a big mess, and no cautions in the series, so that could be interesting. I really don't know what to expect here. Uh, I just hope I get the chance to race the car around, because it is pretty fun. Just driving around here. And uh, we are the number one, and if we finish third, we lose 13 I rating, so uh, more likely than not, gonna lose out here, but it's going to be fun, and that's what <laughs> matters the most. So it looks like P3 will be our starting spot. Everybody qualified real quick. Nice. So we get to get going here. Really looking forward to it. On the inside. Love it. So. We'll do our pace laps. Two of them. Yes. And uh, we might have to protect the bottom a little bit to prevent, like I said, anybody from diving in. Some questionable safety ratings in here. We got like D 2.6 and B 1.2. You, know, you don't know how they got there. Maybe they are perfectly fine at driving. I just had some really bad luck or frequently drive in oval series that uh, have a lot of contact, something like the modifieds or something, um, you know, Bumper to bumper action is kind of what it is expected from that series. Sometimes it's the only way to pass. And uh, still, iRacing gives out 4x like candy, so uh, a lot of it can depend on the type of series you run. And maybe someone's safety rating does not accurately uh, re represent their safeness. So, um, don't want to judge too much, but it is good information to know just in case. We have a timed race. I think these races are, what, 20 minutes? Something like that? Somewhere around that amount of time. So not the, uh, not the longest races in the world. This is predicting about 70 laps. That's actually pretty good for, for a year in there. The track temp is 98. Of course, only 12 second, 13 second long laps. But I just want to make it to the end. Hopefully get a nice, solid finish. Top 5 would be nice. That'd be very nice. Especially if it's a clean one. Clean top 5. I want to see what launch looks like in first gear. 
It's looking like a first gear start. Yeah. That's feeling nice. Heck, it feels like a zeroth gear start. Because <laughs> it's still kind of low RPMs at a first gear. But uh, something tells me running the race, or starting the race in neutral is not going to do me much good. <laughs> so, first gear it is. We'll uh, have the best view in the house of the leader. Hopefully get a nice jump. Maybe even get out on the inside of White Castle over there. Do you think the White Castle guy's going to be pulling any slider lines? Get ready. Going green. Please don't leave the video. We're about to start. <laughs> okay, I got in. Focus. Ooh, I thought I saw him go. I'm so bad about doing that. I need to never do that again. I'm so bad about false starting and making people mess up. Okay. Some space. The next car's the leader. Not the the running second. So far, so good. Make sure I'm not overdriving exit. Maybe even try to take care of the tires a little bit. Like I said, no one really knows yet if that's going to be the thing. I mean, I assume this is not the very first time they've ever done this combo, but people in practice were unsure of how this race was going to look, and I certainly don't know. So, lots of questions still in the air. Got some space both in front of and behind at the moment. Fastest lap for Morgan, 12.9. Okay, just keeping it smooth. So good. Uh, so far, so good. Not so good. We're doing okay, but <laughs> so far, so good is what I was trying to say. A little wide there. Might start using just the tiniest, tiniest tap of the brake on entry. Not sure. We'll, we'll see how I feel about that. Just to get this thing slowed down. I think most importantly is just making sure you get a nice spark into the corner so you can get a good runoff. Seems like you can uh, get the tires a little bit below the yellow line there. Not exactly what your first instinct would be to do in an open wheel car like this, but it seems to work okay in practice. I didn't really have any trouble getting it down here like this. Maybe even getting a little bit of turn out of there, so long as you don't overdo it and ruin your exit. Fastest lap for Ender Shot, 12.8. But no big wrecks we've had to avoid or anything. Kind of hoping this guy ahead, going uh, a little bit harder, will hurt his tires. So I don't know if I can beat him on pace necessarily. He looks pretty fast. New fastest lap for Morgan, 12.8. But no shifting really necessary, I don't think. Seems like third gear is just where you want to stay. kind of getting away, isn't he? I wonder, I assume, I guess we're going to get into lap traffic. The laps are so short here, right? it must be a thing. So that's going to be something, something interesting to contend with. Not too many people signed up, despite it being the uh, first race of the week. The series, unfortunately, doesn't have the greatest participation. We had about uh, 18 people, I think, signed up, so it did split. But I think maybe just once. But no matter. Seems like everybody's doing a good job from what I can see here. Hmm. Maybe crawling back to the guy ahead a little bit. Hard to say. We're at 1.2 right now.
because I'm still just trying to keep it smooth. Second place would be fantastic. So, not going to wreck myself trying to do anything more than that. And uh, it's looking like our we got some space behind. I think any shot we have at the guy ahead is going to happen through getting through the lap traffic. So he's the first guy that's going to have to figure out how to get through. So I'm uh, thankful I don't have that honor. So it will be interesting to see how the lap cars handle it. If they're going to get up out of the way or not. You never know, like sometimes uh, these series that are primarily road, you got guys that don't really know uh, the ins and outs, or at least the details of oval racing. So you might have a guy that doesn't quite know that the outside's where you are ex expected to be as a lap car. But here they come. Lap traffic on the horizon. And I saw one of them blinking a little bit. So that's a little scary, but... <laughs> Gotta watch out in case we start getting some arrow as well. That's not something we've really had to deal with, but if we get a couple cars, I wonder if we'll have arrow push. You wouldn't think so, so much. So we're not really going all that fast, but... Just in case, gotta be uh, ready for it. That car out of the way. He's cool for doing that. We are gaining a lot of time right now because that lap car is fighting the leader for some reason. That lap time was 13.0. Hopefully we don't get stuck too much. Outside. Clear high. Ooh, interesting. So we got past him pretty easily. That helped us gain a little bit on this leader. Hmm. That lap time was 13.0. Little too early on the gas there. Trying to make sure I can get on the gas at just the right time. So I don't want to under underdrive it, but I don't want to overdrive it either. It's tough to find that exact spot to get back on the gas. Might have to do a little bit of last lap, session last lap, if I ever find a moment somehow. So it looks like we don't have quite the speed as we did at the start of the run, thanks to worn tires. I don't know when I'm going to do that, though, because, I mean, the whole track is a turn, basically. This is your story to wait now, it's over. Pretty much. There's a fruit fly in front of my face. That's fantastic. That's a really fast fruit fly. It's flying along uh, with me in my car. Going 90. <laughs> Lap traffic. What are we going to get out of this one? Looks like he's staying high. Everything good so far. Love to see it. Uh oh. Go low. Go high. Go high. Oh, right then. <laughs> Somehow survived that. Figured we might see a little bit of that with no cautions at some point. Did not expect it to happen for the first time on lap 38, but it sure did. That stinks. We lost some time both in front and behind us because of that, but hey, the car's clean. So no complaints here. I will take it. <laughs> Like I said, I don't think I'm catching that guy yet unless he has his own issues with lap traffic. So, I'm okay with losing the time ahead. And I think I should be faster than the guys behind. So, at the end of the day, no harm, no foul. I think I still should be headed for a second place finish if everything goes according to plan. The actor, shot behind is now 1.5. Okay, Colton, there's a car exiting the pits. Heads up. Flight down, download. Oh, I heard a car. We were, uh, told that there's a car exiting the pits. 
So it looks like it's the 11 there. Is that the guy who wrecked? Not sure. We're quickest at the moment. That last lap was oh, we're quickest at the moment. That's interesting. Probably just for that one lap, though. We're currently set in space. Hey, I like hearing that, though. I wonder how much draft will matter. Again, it's not going to be a huge deal. Uh oh, there goes the left power. Are we be able to get around him? Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm not sure how much draft is going to be a thing. Normally the draft is huge in this car, though. It'd be a major draft, but going a max of 90. I don't know. Don't know enough about these cars and what to expect from them. Well, we're halfway, though, according to how long the that race labs predicts this race to be, which is about 69.7 laps, with times falling off probably going to be more like 70. So we are well past the halfway point of about 35. Continued uh, getting some distance behind us of both the lab car and... The guy for the next position back there. Two seconds ahead. The moment that I glanced at the leader. You've just done a twelve point nine. Love to have session last lap. Really like to try some things and see if it works better or worse. But it's very hard to get that and not just lose time trying to find it. There we go. Session last lap. It's fun to try to uh, get that green on the screen. Anyway, I enjoy doing the, the chase. So we'll see if we can maximize our corners here, go out to the wall. Keep it down low. Alright. Feels pretty good. Overdrove it there a bit. Oh, that's okay. Wow, you really lose a lot of time when you do that, so... That's very good to know. Keep it down on the bottom. Because that was like a whole tenth I lost by overdriving. So let's make sure we're down low. Uh, the leader might be hitting some traffic up there. Can't really glance too much right now. Oh, we got some guys just weaving around up here. That's scary. Oh, good. Yeah, throw some blinks in there for some extra spice. We've got ourselves a tasty chicken streaker dish. <laughs> Fennel seed is my favorite seasoning. I know everybody's wanting to know. Why are you blocking me? Your lap time was yeah. <laughs> Car outside. Clear outside. That was rude, I'm sorry. That's I was trying to be rude, I'm just like... Excuse me, sir. You, sir, lost me a tenth. How dare. We're actually uh, reeling the leader in at the moment, but again, that has a lot to do with this lap travel, right, so I'm not going to take too much stock into that. Too low there. Your last lap time was at 13.1. <sighs> Blinking right, right when I need to know where he is. Clear up top. Okay, clear up top. Trusting my spotter because he disappeared again a little bit. Really like having session last lap up because it has really kind of helped me figure out what line's working the best here. 1.6 ahead. That lap time was 13.0. Really got into a rhythm now, it feels good. Oh, 
really catching the leaders now the leader now because uh, he hasn't been able to take the exact line he wants I don't think very interesting how on earth would I pass him though I guess I have to pass him on exit try to keep it lower than him maybe get a run off the previous corner or something would be the way to do it I don't know let's not worry about that now first I have to get there and that's still in question Oh, that guy looked like he was going to hit the wall. I put extra wheel in it because I was afraid I was going to have to make an evasive maneuver. Oh, white flag. I did not have enough time anyway. Dang. Reeled him in a little bit, but ran out of time. Literally ran out of time because this is a time race and not a lap race. Good win, number two. That was a fun race, guys. Podium finish. Nice one. All right, I'll take it. Runner up. My arms need a break, bro. Solid work. A nice place to park. Please stay out of the leader's way if he, if he celebrates. <laughs> I don't want to park in the middle of his celebration. Alright, that was pretty fun. I actually really liked that. That might be my favorite uh, oval race I've ever done in the USF 2000. That was pretty good. I like that. I think these shorter tracks really work for this car a lot better. 7283. I don't know how much it mattered. It obviously slowed us down a little bit, but I don't know if tire saving is even really going to be a thing. But uh, for what it's worth, I did have 72.83. All right. And I kept a zero X. Get five I rating or so. I think, it, I think that's going to put me two away from 5,000 uh, I rating. Reaching that milestone for the first time. It'll be interesting to see if I can make that. For now, let's see what happened out here. Blinking. We're going to get a lot of blinking, aren't we? Ooh, that's a self spin. All the way on lap 36 to 37. Oh, yeah, and then he just pulls out in front and then self spins again. Who did he take out right there? P9, so that was for position. He was That's probably why he was trying to gas it up so quick, because he was like, oh my gosh, I gotta keep this position. And it didn't work out for him. He really just pulled out in front of everybody and then self-spins. That was not a very good move. Thankfully, I was able to get around it. It's that classic, like, he just spun and his tires are molten hot, and he tries to gas it up and spins out. See it so often. Oh, I just give him plenty of room. We had a uh, wing sliding off the cross in front of us. Thankfully, A, you can't puncture a tire in iRacing, and B, I didn't puncture a tire because it's iRacing. I am thankful for those bullets. This guy is blinking like a Christmas tree. Actually, that's it. Okay, wow. So that's all we really had was that self-spin. We'll bring it into P2. Very nice run. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. And I'm glad I was able to uh, participate here. I just got a notification on my phone that Albert Pujols just hit his 703rd home run. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I am a Cardinals fan because I live around St. Louis. And uh, I think all of baseball enjoys his story. And uh, reaching 700 this year. So that was cool. But that's not related at all to what we're doing. So that'll uh, finish it up here for a very fun race. I do recommend this if you have any remote interest in oval racing in a USF 2000. That was pretty good. I enjoyed that. So I hope you enjoyed as well. And uh, I will see you next time somewhere else. Have a good one.